What is up dudes? Welcome back to another video here on the Dude Gaming channel. We are back here on Lucy McLean on good old Fallout 4 and we are here in good old Diamond City. So we left off Lucy's little journey with Valentine in the last video where we uh, came all the way back from helping both the Minutemen and the Railroad and we're gonna help out or try to find our son here with Nick Valentine. He's taken us up to Kellogg's house when he was here in Diamond City. This is an absolutely beautiful day out here in Diamond City. Absolutely beautiful. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. A master lock. Yeah, we definitely can't uh, open that. I like how this house is like far and away from everything else here in Diamond City. It's kind of crazy. Oh, we can. What are you doing? Don't think I can get this. Open. Find the key. Find the key. This was sent by Ashley from Yorkshire. Platform in the distance, I near the city once. entrance. If the radiation That's the elevator don't get to you, the mayor's the wolves office. Might. Why don't you go ask around there? Tesla. It's mess around okay. by Ray Charles. So, I guess if you can't get into it, you have to go ask for the Kellogg's house key. I've never actually asked for this because I feel like I always always had master pick locking so uh interesting very very interesting all right let's go up i guess you ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words honey maybe shout a little less oh that reminds me of this article the mayor's affair with a certain airheaded blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Nah. -uh. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the. I need to talk to someone about Mr. Kellogg's residence. He left town a while ago. Uh -huh. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask. Sure. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Hey, right, so is the mayor. Oh, here he is. Mayor McDonough. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Kellogg's house. A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reason you have, I can't allow you to invade some... Please, Mayor McDonough. This... I see. I'm sorry, but... I understand. You you have rules. What? How dare Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing. So I bet this thing is in the mayor's thing here. Sweet. Yep, Kellogg's house key. Don't usually steal, buddy, but uh I had to on that no funny business. for that so let's go back down and let's nick know of our key that we found or stole rather and there goes dog meat good job dog meat he is almost dead down here nick got the key all right let's do it just steal all his stuff for some building material they seem small to you. 
I'm a worthless bum. As the French would say, the well. top. The the bottom. You're the top. Gwyneth Stout beer. 44 caliber bullets. Cigars. San Francisco sunlights. Nice. NCR money. Brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Hmm. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see. Good luck. All right. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Let's do it, dog meat. Getting the clue finished. I'll take all this stuff. He was stocked up pretty good there. All right. Reunions. All right, dog meat. Let's, uh chill to this music and find our way to Sean or Kellogg one or the other if you need the shops are right over there well thank you down up the stairs and out of a good old diamond city out the main gates we go Honestly, it was a great idea by Bethesda you to use this Boston Red Sox stadium as Diamond City. And honestly, it's pretty funny still to me that all the snobby people who are rich, quote unquote, are up in the nosebleeds, where in real life are the cheapest tickets and all the farmers and stuff are down on the diamond. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? So we have this gun, we have our pipe pistol that uses whatever ammo, and then we have the pipe pistol that uses 45 rounds. So it does a little bit more damage. Um, we have our this gun, our syringe rifle. This is the... I bolt action. We have a knife. This is the <laughs> knife we got from Thank you, the Kong Pikmin's Kong Galley. Kong gallery. Kong whatever that was. <laughs> Figured we'd save some ammo by using this on like bugs and animals and stuff that aren't too bad to take down now if we come across a death claw um which is possible on this quest i don't know what we're gonna do i'll use our deliverer since it's our most powerful weapon thus far guess there's nothing up there come on dog me let's find this place for clues for Kellogg. like this one thought he'd get away no such luck guess he's uh been back up here so it's through here somewhere you can actually run into a random death claw uh so 
Yeah, we gotta be a little careful. There's the Yang way. No! Our first Yang way. Awesome. Oh! Don't even die to this thing. Then things would be just terrifying to come across a radiated bear yeah no thank you there's the mutilated brahmin it's down here dog meats some other stuff too somebody didn't want to get snuck up on here oh A decoy? A decoy, huh? Clever. Somebody spent the night here. When it's stout. One of his creature comforts. Where'd dog me go? Did I sleep and he left us? Okay, boy. Let's track him. What the hell? There's dog meat. Hey, buddy. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. I thought you left us. This is one of those towns that's completely just full of ghouls. See if we can discover it real quick and get on out of here. Forest Grove Marsh. Yep. Let's run back up the hill towards dog meat before he leaves us in the dust again. Of course, the fog is a rolling in on us. Mm -hmm. Looks like some more robots down here. Protectron. Bodyguard robots didn't fare too well. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. The best things in life are free. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. More clues. What do you think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? He goes left. And she goes right. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Hey, buddy. Come on. Where are you going? Are you stuck? He has been so weird. He's been getting stuck and everything on different places on this little thing. Good thing I know where I'm going. But, man, oh, man. Do I even have the right quest up right now? I do not. No wonder it's been super weird. What dog meat? Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Yeah, he's just being very weird, so we're just gonna run on over here and see if it updates the quest or not. Gosh, I hate those bloat flies. Oh my gosh. He's running all the way back, but we already know. It's over here at Fort Hagen. I think. Right? Am I going crazy? Yeah, it's definitely Fort Hagen. Did he just spawn on over here? Yeah, he did. That's funny. Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? Hey. Okay. This next one is Them Their Eyes. Very right, awesome. We made it here to Fort Hagen, where good old Kellogg is. So let's we'll see if we can't get in here and take him out. 
to fight through some turrets in order to get in here though. Awesome. Isn't there some kind of way? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've honestly done this quest. Is it up here? Because I know this is a way out. Is it over there? Might as well take all this. Always good to get those biometric scanners. Is this it right here? Or Hagen? Search Fort Hagen. All right. Could be. Of course, there's some sense here. Always. See what we're dealing with: Kellogg and some sense. explore around a little bit and hopefully we don't get shot down from these turrets. Don't want to miss anything fun down here. Some drinking glasses, some jets. So I've been putting a lot of the um, like jet and stuff like that into our like stash and stuff back at home just because you know Lucy's not going to be using any jet or anything like that I do keep around the mintats because maybe Lucy wouldn't take some mintats she's an intelligent woman and maybe she'll be into using stuff like that to increase her intelligence and stuff sometimes every once in a while it's not something that happens a lot mm. This next Asset one is by Gene Krupa. In danger. It's called Defending. Massachusetts. Oof. On the other side. Chained. Secure facility. Info termination required. I knocked them all down. That's good. So, is it you have to go all the way around this way? Is that what it was? It looks that way. Oh. Hmm, combat shotgun. That's one of my favorite guns out there, honestly. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, gosh. There we go, security open door. Be able to get into this now. Got it. Toothbrush, exactly what we always wanted. Right there. With these guys. And I guess. This goes downstairs, so let's do it. There's a chain door. Okay, so that's from... We are definitely present. Oops. I'm running into all the traps today. Oh my gosh. Every single one. Every landmine, everything possible. Yes. 
Alright, definitely inside Fort Hagen now. You can't even hear him talk, why? Was it the radio messing it up? You know it's not gonna go my way. I'm gonna get my son. Last radius board game. In the bathroom. Ha uh ha. -huh. Blowing holes through walls in the bathroom. stuff 100% isn't there something over here we need to yeah this rocket ride was permanently gain 25% critical health. damage with energy weapons I remember this one from years and years things ago. are always in the DDK most and the Andrew sisters. random it's places so shh child dog meat in the way yeah, there's a synth. Yeah, our pipe pistol doesn't do as much damage, but it does, does what it needs to do. It definitely does a lot less damage than our deliverer. You have that option. Master. Security's too tight. This for? There we go. Oh, uh, turret control. Oh my gosh, we almost died. Holy smokes. Eat that. Oh, we do have some other stuff that I cooked. Some grilled rad roach. Yeah. So, all right. Ready, here we go. Where one and two hands. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Confront Kellogg. Used oil. And there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. What's up? Let's, uh, talk. You murdering, kidnapping, psychopath. 
Give me my son. Give me Sean. Now! Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen. Your boy's not here. Then you're gonna take me to him. Right now. Take you to him. <laughs> like I could, even if I wanted to. Don't you get it? Your son, he's in a place nobody can reach. Sean's safe, at home, in the Institute. Here, the Institute, oh. <laughs> That's the spirit. You know, you surprise me, I have to admit. I find myself actually kind of liking you. But I think we've been talking in a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all Damn. over again, you piece of shit. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh yeah, I forget he goes invisible. Not bad. That it? There he goes. Down goes Goodman. All this tech. You were barely human. Yeah, worked for the Institute to... Stay alive, pretty much. That was satellite rock so by Joe Gates. Here's the terminal. This next one was sent in Undamaged by a listener camera, named Nick. Eh? It's on holiday. That's nice. Uh, during a live recording back years Recorder. and years ago, I like yes. to see around anxiously. It's Narvel Feltz with Bad Moon Rising. I love how many different mainframes there are. Security door. Open doors. Discuss your findings with Nick. Um, I'm gonna drop some stuff. Let's get out of here. Awesome. Why is it telling us to go back down there? Weird. Oh, the Pridwin. Or Pridewin, whatever it's called. Thing is one of the coolest things in Fallout, in my honest opinion. So so cool. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Hello, Commonwealth. We have a very special treat for all of the lovely listeners. One of the coolest things in Fallout 4 is when the Pridwin comes flying through. And they're coming from this way, so very cool. But we're going to head on back to Diamond City Market and talk to Nick Valentine. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private? Turn off the radio real quick. Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back, and not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg took my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No. I need to find a way. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True uh -huh. enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. Kellogg. 
Huh. Man like that would have had access. In and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk type, was he? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got Look, there's hmm. a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Uh -huh. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Uh -huh. Jesus, Nick! Gross! I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Right. Actually, I think I already have... Cybernetics, huh? Sure. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you. I'll head there on my own. All right. See it? Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. Sounds good. I usually always bring Piper with me, low key, but since we're kind of doing our own little lone wanderer thing, I'm just gonna bring dog meat along just because we are a lone wanderer, like I said, and instead of heading over to good old good neighbor, I decided to do a Minutemen quest, which will be taking us to, I think the Green Top Nursery? Yeah, so the Green Top Nursery, we're gonna be going there to help them out with whatever they need help with. And possibly, I don't know how many quests you have to do for these continue quests that are constantly popping up for uh, Preston Garvey, but General Atomic's Galleria. Yeah, that place is pretty cool. We might come back for that eventually, but uh, we're gonna continue on right now, but I'm not too sure how many settlements we have to help before we get the castle mission. But I might be doing that until we get that mission. Just because... I'm really in between, like like I've been saying again, between the railroad and the Minutemen for what Lucy would go with. And someone who commented on the last video really changed my mind away from the railroad and more towards the Minutemen, so shout out to you for changing my mind. Who's this? Clinton. Who's Clinton? Yes? Dad, can we leave a light on tonight? I like sleeping with the light on. Sure thing, baby. I'll watch over you while you sleep. Yeah? Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen those people here. But yeah, I think I'm going to be more towards <laughs> siding with the good old Minutemen just because they want what's best for the Commonwealth more than anything and don't really, you know, they won't hurt people unless they hurt the Commonwealth themselves. So I got this a Stingwing, it's like a giant wasp almost. I almost forgot we are in a place where there is a death claw. I believe it's down there somewhere. Um, so we might want to be a little careful. Oof. The sting wings are very annoying just because they, they poison you and then they run off, but. We're gonna try to stay away from this over here for now, because I don't think we should be taking on a death while at the moment. Green Top Nursery. Finally made it. Did the well, hello. Men send you? They sure did. What's going on? Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't... Sure. I'll see what I can do. Good. We didn't know... Awesome. So they're at Dunwich Borers, which is an interesting place to 
go, so that should be fun for this video. Oh man, this place. So we made our way over here to the Dunwich Boars, which is just a vast, gigantic quarry that has a interesting backstory to it, if I believe this is the place that I'm thinking about. So we're going to be dealing with a ton, a ton of raiders. Because I'm getting smashed in the face with bullets. What is this terminal for? I was like, it's shot in the side of the face. Turret control, there we go. Let's, uh... Yeah, just deactivate all of them. It'll help us out in the long run for sure. Alright, so we're getting shot at from every direction possible. Yeah, get down there. I'm gonna have to hide, my gosh. See if I can smack some people with with this. I can. Oh gosh. So he should be dead with that. Awesome. As long as they uh, drop some 10 millimeter ammo for us, we should be able to continuously use the deliverer. We'll have to get around over here. This place is always pretty tough, not gonna lie. There's always so many raiders here from every direction. And there's a grenade. Oh my gosh. Literally every direction. Down to 33 ammo on this weapon. Just had a shotgun. Alright. Oh, there's two just chilling right here. Please drop some good ammo. 308 rounds. Nope. Is that someone in a freaking... Someone's in a power suit. Awesome. Um... It's probably gonna take a lot to take this guy down. Alright, I officially killed all the raiders that were above there, and not too many of them gave 10mm uh, ammo, so I've been rocking both the uh, regular pipe pistol and our 44 pipe pistol, and we're going to take that down into this Dunwich Borers. So I'm pretty sure this is based off uh, one of HP Lovecraft's books, and that is the Dunwich Horror. I'm pretty sure that's what this is uh, a reference to. But if I have that wrong, let me know down in the comments that I got that wrong. But we did just level up again, so we're going to put that point into Gunslinger. So non-automatic pistols now do 60% more damage and range is increased even further. So that's awesome. It'll definitely help us against some of these raider wasters that are starting to not take as much damage as they used to. Oh my gosh. As we get absolutely killed by a grenade. Can we get into this? No. Nope. Oh my gosh, who is throwing grenades, bro? Calm down. Like, come on. Is it you, dude?
12 bullets to the chest. They're also starting to drop some combat armor, so if you think we should change from our leather armor to combat armor, let me know. Um, just because I feel like in the show, Lucy wears the leather armor only, and she never transfers over to that combat armor, so we probably will not transfer over to that unless you think we should in the comments. I'm thinking not. Uh, but we're going to continue on down here into hey. this craziness of a place that uh, gets crazier the further you go down, so should be a fun time for us in here. Oh god, a raider survivalist? And a grenade, which is great. So we found the person we need to take out in terms of the raider, uh, but obviously we're going to continue going further down. We don't sneak too much with Lucy, but we're going to in this case just to get some damage in on these guys that are blinding us with their minor helmets. We'll be able to see a little better. So it's Bedlam. I forgot about Bedlam, actually. Um. You know, we might throw some grenades down there. So left, alt. Oh god. I blew myself up. We've been saving these grenades as I about blow myself up twice here. She should be pretty much dead after that. There she goes. Down goes Bedlam. Alright, so she had a tactical heavy hunter rifle, some metal armor that we're not going to take. What happened to the other guy? He got blown to absolute bits over here. So, astoundingly, I'll take 5% less damage from robots. Very nice. So since we're already down here, we're going to go through with um, heading into the actual crazy portion. So let's look at Bedlam's terminal real quick. I'm safe in the light. I'm safe in the light. So people just start going crazy in here. Pull out the first deal down below, having come back, we're running out of scraps. Like they started running into some insane issues down here that are just supernatural in the manner you're about to see like this place is crazy I'm scared to even walk down through here I am not a fan of this place at all at all Oh gosh, it's a ghoul reaver. Oh my gosh. Oof, we are getting slapped in the face. Um... Hopefully we survive this. Use a super stim pack, a regular one, a ribeye steak. And hopefully I'll even use some healing powder. Because we are stuck in between two ghouls. So 
So those are two legendary ghouls, which is really neat. All right, relentless meat hook. That's crazy looking. Kind of my fault to push myself into that corner. That was uh, not a good call by me. See, this is what I'm talking about. It just throws you into kind of what happened to these guys. We're kind of let dog me go in there. We're gonna shoot from afar because uh, this place sucks. That's all I gotta say. I'm not a fan of this place at all. I'll keep saying that. Oof. Piling up the freaking feral ghoul bodies hey. as uh, dog meat stands on top of one. Yeah, this is so crazy. There's Bradley. And everyone else. So they pretty much were running a cult down here, but yeah, interesting, interesting little thing here. Um, H.P. Lovecraft, man, Dunwich Horrors. If you've never read any of his books, I'd highly recommend it. They're actually very interesting. And this is what you come down here for is Crim's Tooth, Target's Bleeding, or Poison Exceptional Damage. Weird, weird, weird blade, but uh, yeah. All right, so that's everything down here. Let's get ourselves out of here if we can, because <laughs> I'm done with these, this horror and nonsense down here. If I can ever get myself to play a horror game where there's jump scares everywhere, I'll try to bring that to the channel. But, uh, oh man, that's gonna be tough. So yeah, the raiders didn't quite make it. They made it to the door and that was about it. So let's uh, take this elevator back down and this pretty much takes us all the way back to the surface where we will head on up back over to the green top nursery. What's up, settler? Did you have any luck with those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best. By the way, we've talked about it. Uh -huh. I think it's worth giving it another. Awesome. So we got someone else to join the Minutemen. So we're going to head on back to Preston Garvey, and I'm hoping he gives us the uh, castle quest, but we'll see. Hey, Preston. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, as usual, of course we've you gotten did. big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the hey, castle. Hey, there it is. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. Oh, Sounds agree. like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like. So, should I have an assault for? Sure, let's do it. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you up. Awesome, taking independence. Let's go. So, before we go and do that, we'll probably do that in our next video. But we're gonna head over to the Red Rocket Truck Stop, and I think that's where we're gonna build Lucy's first little home it's not gonna be anything crazy but i think it'll be fun to go over there and do something little charmful and whatnot and we're gonna bring her power armor over there as well since she kind of loves power armor 
All right, so we made it back over here to the Red Rocket truck stop. I've cleared it out a little bit here and there, uh, mostly all the debris and everything. And as you can see, we have four sets of power armor. This is just power armor I've found, uh, just kind of exploring off camera. Like I've explored down to here and all a little, little bit here and there, nothing too crazy. Uh, it was just to get supplies to build and that kind of thing. But we did find three other. We found another T-45. This one was the one we got from the Minutemen quest. We found some T-51 that's missing a helm. And then another T-45 that was missing just about everything except that torso and left leg. But I think the idea is we're going to make this her little room. That's going to have obviously the workshop. I transferred mostly everything from Sanctuary to this workshop just so we have... Uh, some stuff to work with, but we're going to move the power armor station and the weapons workbench outside and probably get rid of this stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to select it and kind of just move it outside for now. Move it just right over here. Awesome. I've kept some things that I just wanted to be here. Like, it'd be cool to keep that sign and we'll move this next to this workbench outside. And I know there are all kinds of mods out there to get rid of other things, like get rid of the trash on the floor, even move this and other things, but I just kind of wanted to um, keep it simple. Uh, not really. Oops. Get rid of that. But just kind of keep it simple for Lucy here. Like you can have things that get rid of all this debris on the ground. But that, in honestly real life, she probably would fix up and get rid of. But, you know, we're going to start on her room and kind of just see where this goes. So this is obviously something quick and easy that I made. I obviously put good old dog meats a house out here with a little cooking station. I have my suits of armor out here. Obviously I have this little weird stairs for the power for right now. Put it on the roof. Move the weapons workbench out here next to the armor workbench. We have this closed off. We put that closed off as well and this. So we have the only way in is this way. But we have us a nice little cozy looking like living room, diet, whatever you want to call this. The TV. Come in here. Sit. Watch some TV real quick. Uh, get back up here. 
And then finally we have a place to put all our magazines, a place to put our bobbleheads that we've collected so far. Uh, we don't use the Righteous Authority, so I decided to put that up there. I decided to put up a lever, action rifle, one of my favorite, most favorite guns in the game. Well, all of Fallout's. Uh, put us a little steamer trunk here, our bed, nice little radio we can turn oh, well, on well, to listen to WRV. Uh, a little clock to know the time and us a little weight bench. I didn't even realize you could use this and work out on this thing. I thought that was kind of crazy. And then us a little mat, but let me know down in the comments on what I can do to further improve Lucy's little base that we have here. I mean, it's not much, but you know, it's something, just something a little small, simple, nothing insane. Uh, but honestly, I'm only building here to begin with just because of, you know, it's the Red Rocket truck stop. It's, you know, it's infamous for its name. One of the first settlements you come across for dog meats. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments what I can do more here. And obviously there's Vault 81 that's a functioning vault that I'm pretty sure you can get a room in uh, if you finish one of the quests. And there's obviously the... Vault Tech DLC for the Vault 88 where you can make your own and maybe we'll do that eventually with good old Lucy McLean here in the future but I just wanted to kind of settle down have a place to put all of our stuff and just slowly build a small little base here at the Red Rocket truck stop I just feel like it would be somewhere Lucy would settle down if she had to uh, and build something small and obviously I'm gonna just collect all her uh, power armor suits and she is interested in that kind of thing uh, but yeah in the next video we'll probably take on the castle uh, with the Minutemen and continue their storyline there just because I'm officially going to be going with the Minutemen on this playthrough with Lucy I just feel like that's just who she would go with and yeah but if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment down below and if you want to see more videos here on the G Gaming channel Hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Thanks, y'all. Sun's the blazier, feels the daisier, how's the craziest, that helps the laziest, the boy, are the wittiest.